Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Parker versus Brown. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Yeah. Miss Parker, your relationship is on the verge of ending. Yes, Your Honor. You're summoning your boyfriend, Mr. Brown, for paternity test to prove that he is your six-month-old son, Malachi's father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brown, you say you stepped up when Malachi was born, but began to have paternity doubts because of Miss Parker's scandalous behavior. Yes, Your Honor. In addition to the paternity test, you've countersued for a lie detector test to prove the extent of her cheating. Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Mr. Brown, clearly, you're in court because you have no trust for Miss Parker. Explain. Well, when we first started, Your Honor, the relationship was good. Um, we loved each other very much. Then later on, it just she just started doing things. I remember one time uh, later on in the relationship, um, I called her. She I couldn't I couldn't get in contact with her. I called her parents. They I don't know if she. I called her dad. He was at work. I don't know where she at. Um, Wait, you had a relationship and it was going well, and then she disappeared. It, yeah, just one day I decided to call and she was and I was like. Yeah. She Did you disappear, Miss Parker? Your Honor, I object. I You're was right. <laughs> Your Honor, I object. I feel like that I was um I need to be um free because at the end of the day free. I, I wasn't doing anything. What you mean? What I be stuck mean? with the baby twenty four seven, honey. Because at the... oh, but I have to go to work and do stuff. So I'm supposed to be. You don't go to work. Right, what hold, job? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. I want to understand, Miss Parker. Mr. Brown said you all were in a relationship and it was Correct. going well. Yes, Your Honor. You were happy. Yes, Your Is Honor. that true? Yes, Your Honor. And then all of a sudden he says one day he calls you and nobody could find you. Right. Where, did that happen? I, I was with my friend. He would not let me have no friends. I let you have no friends. He won't let oh me my have God. no friends. I cannot even step out of my friends and go have a dinner. With. It's it'll be, it'll dinner, be a really. girl. Mm -hmm. So are you saying you got to a point in the relationship where you felt smothered? Well, I felt like I couldn't go nowhere. Well, I felt like I just stuck in the house 24-7. He just wanna lay up under me and I cannot what? go anywhere. Are you serious? Yeah, no. Your Honor. No. Mr. Brown, you thought she was out with another man during this time? I don't know what she was doing. She never told me anything. I call, no answer, I text, no answer, call people, call parents. That no one knows you where call she at. Who? I'm not sure where she was. So she you never didn't know me. where you just didn't know where she was. Mm-mm. You wanted to know where? Just, just, just as a precaution, just in case something happened. Did I, you trust I, her at that time? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I trust her, but it's yeah. just... Your Honor, I feel like So, you're if you're in a relationship with somebody and you're... Was it a committed relationship? Yes. yes. So, Miss Parker, why do you get missing without I... saying, hey, babe, I'm, you know, over here? Because I feel like he's insecure because, like, I feel like he don't... Insecure about he what? He would not let me go anywhere, Your Honor. I always have to be stuck in the house 24-7. I didn't say he had to be like, stuck in the house, but I, he should like, be taking the baby he... some of the time. So, wait. So, bottom line is, you're in a relationship, it's going well. Mm -hmm. Then you have a period of time where you feel like you smothered, you gotta get out, and you get missing, and he doesn't know where you are. Mm -hmm. But at some point, it comes back together because you get pregnant. Right. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, Your Honor, I got pregnant around his 25th birthday, and, and I told him I was pregnant. He said he didn't believe because it was a dollar pregnancy test. So I went yeah, to Grady Memorial Hospital and I confirmed I was pregnant. So I called him on the phone. He had a few minutes to talk. So after we talked about it, we talked about getting married, Your Honor. We talked about having other kids in the future. At the end of the day, I feel like he's insecure. He won't trust me. Trust you, Wait, hold on, hold on. Shoot. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you find out you're pregnant, you take a test, he yes. says, that's from the dollar store, I want something that I can feel like yes. I can handle. Yes, he was excited when so I So you go to the him. hospital, mm -hmm. you have a test, it is confirmed you're pregnant. Correct. And Mr. Brown, when she told you she was in fact pregnant, after she went to the doctor, were you happy about it? I was happy. You were? Yes. At that moment in time, did you think that is my child? Yes. Even though you had had the period of time where she got missing and you didn't trust her, you felt in that moment, I feel secure, this is my child. Mm-hmm. So now, when did it change? I mean, when did you start having doubts? She kept... After the baby was born, she kept, she kept doing it. She kept leaving. So you were with her wh while the baby was born? I was in the delivery room. When did the you born. sign the birth certificate? I didn't sign the birth certificate. Did you have a doubt? Yes, a 50% doubt. Because... That's a big one. Yes. 
So you couldn't bring yourself to sign the birth certificate because you knew you had a doubt? Yes. What was that doubt based on? Then the dates, they're not adding up. It, you said the awesome. dates are not adding up? Mm -mm. What about the dates didn't add up? Well, like she said, we she got pregnant during June. The baby was born in January. Hold on, let me get my calendar. Let me understand this. All right, so when was Malachi born? He was born January 5th. January the 5th, all right. Yeah. So, baby born. And take me back, you said, what about this... This time of this birth didn't add up to you? I did research, um, and I found out that full-term pregnancy is between 39 and 40 weeks. And if you got pregnant in June, the baby should have been born probably in February. So you guys met when? We June met... June 1st. June 1st? Mm -hmm. Yes, I found out I was pregnant June 4th on his birthday. So you met on June the 1st? Correct. And you found out you were pregnant on June the 4th? Yes. Oh, yeah, but you wasn't doing so anything. So, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My baby was premature. He, because I had heart problems and I have heart, high blood pressure. Your Honor, and I have evidence right here if you want to see, because my baby, he was small. Mom, will you hand that to me, please? And you can see as in his weight. So this evidence is copies of your hospital discharge papers. Correct, Your Honor. It I says mm -hmm. that Malachi was born at 1,730 grams, which is 3.8 pounds. Correct. So premature indeed. Mm-hmm. So your testimony is that he was born early. Yes, very Ernest. early. Yes, he was born okay, very that, early. That, that still doesn't matter about the dates because he was born early? What you mean? Yes, it does. I had high blood pressure okay. and I had heart but, problems. Uh, okay, but okay, still, what? still, You understand still. what it means to be premature, right? Mm -hmm. The dates doesn't matter. You're still the father. The dates don't matter. What you mean it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. He's, he is talking about now his doubt. He's saying... You met on the first, and you was pregnant on the fourth. Mm-hmm. Were you intimate One, with two, any three, other men around oh, that time? I was pregnant, yeah. yeah. Yes, Your Honor, but that was at the beginning of May. Okay, let me g go back to my calendar. So, in the beginning of May, you had another guy. Guy number two. Yeah, huh? the guy that, that came to the house to. while we was together. Mm -hmm. You're admitting that in the month... I told Mr. Brown... The month Brown. right before Correct. you met Mr. Brown, Correct. you were also intimate with yes, another... I was honest with Mr. Brown from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I told mm -hmm. Mr. Brown that it could yeah. possibly be the other man baby. But, possibly. unfortunately, Mr. But it's Brown... Mine, though, now. Mr. Brown... I know it's Mr. Brown because he's been there since day one. You know it's Mr. Brown's baby because you were having sex since Correct. the day you met. But yeah. isn't it also true, Miss Parker, that if you were intimate with another man around I... that time that it could potentially be his baby as well? Mm-hmm. <laughs> See, the court got my back. No, Your Honor. I feel like it is Mr. Brown, um, baby. Because look at the resemblance. What you feel... Right. ...and what you know... Mm-hmm. Two completely different things. You had sex with another man... Right. Mm. ...the month... Right, the previous month, right? That previous month. And that, and that relationship lasted until you no, met Mr. It, Brown? it really wasn't lasted. It was on and off. We just, like, probably, like, I'd probably say, like, a three-day. That's it. Three so days? More than three days. And then when you, you're saying when you met Mr. Brown, you were exclusively with him? I was exclusively with him. I wasn't with nobody. I ain't cheated on Mr. Brown. I was with Mr. Brown for one whole year. And yeah, never what about the days that you was him. going out when I told you, no, don't go somewhere? Okay, but that doesn't mean I was um, having... In a, in well, how do I somebody. know that? What you mean, how do you know that? You don't know that. My point is actually, <laughs> I don't know that. Whatever. That's so I don't know. And that. so, Mr. Brown, that's why you're asking for a lie detector test as well, because yes. at this point, you feel like you can't believe anything that comes out of her mouth. Yes, Your Honor. I can tell. Ms. Parker, I, I'm ready to hear from your witness now. Sir, okay. please stand. Step up to the podium. State your name, please. Sir. My name is Larry Parker III. I am her brother. 
All right, thank you for joining us today, Mr. Parker. What do you know about this situation? I know the situation is obvious that he has trust issues, he has insecurity problems. Obviously, a blind man can see that. That's his child. I mean, look at look at the baby, look at him. I mean, it's just crazy. Like, we shouldn't... I don't even know why we're here today. Yeah, why are you here? Why are you here? I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, you know that's your baby. He got a hairline. My hairline's he got... straight. He is like an arrow. All right, what do you mean? On. That don't mean nothing. Hold on, Miss Parker, <laughs> Mr. Brown. I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, you know that's your baby. It's, it's time to step up. Be a man. Damn, I mean, I, do, do what you have to do for your child. It's time, it's time to do something right. I am doing what I do for my child. What do you do? What do you do? I'm there you all the time. Something. Yes. Buy something. I do buy Be a stuff. man. Be a man. It's time to step up. It's time to step up, Mr. Brown. Hold on, Mr. Parker. It's time to step up. Yes, ma'am. Besides what you believe is a resemblance between the baby and Mr. Brown, what else do you know about this situation that would she add to the testimony previously given by your sister. She has been with this man since day one. I have never seen her with anybody else. I have yeah, never cause you don't her. be there. I am you probably, talking. You, I have never seen... You probably... I have never I seen One at a time, gentlemen. One at a time. I have never seen her with anybody else. I have never seen her act like this. She is in love with this man. She has been thriving and being everywhere with this man. And, and for him to just put out there, you must be doing something. And it's time for him to just step up and be a man and just say, okay, that's my baby. I'm going to be a father and, 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 and I'm going to do everything for her. It's time to work. I just brought the baby on. Thank what you very much, Mr. Bought? Parker. Parker, you may be seated. Thank you for yes, your testimony. So, Ms. Parker, ultimately, you're saying that this is pretty much destroying your relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Explain. Yes. Because he's insecure. He always claiming that I'm cheating. I'm always out with well, another why are you guy. Away? I'm talking. He always claiming that I'm with away. another guy when I'm not. When I could just when I'm with my friends. But you, when you run off and then just leave the baby at home with your parents and be gone for a day and just. Don't tell him where you're going. So, Mr. Yeah, Brown, you off. feel like this entire time you've all been in a relationship, she's been entertaining other men as well. Yes. Your spidey yeah. sense is always on as it relates to her. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. And, Ms. Parker, you admit that I do get missing. Right, I do. But at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I be with my friend. How do I know that you want to tell I'm me with that another you're guy. He's insecure. I don't know what he's doing. When he's at home, he not taking But ultimately, me this is oh, turning your relationship you apart. <laughs> yes, it is. And it's affecting Malachi's life Correct. as well. Yes, Your Honor. Because Mr. Brown doesn't know for certain whether or not he's the child's father. Yes, I just want to be a family with him. I, I just want to, you know, I love him. I love him to death. But he's just this insecurity. If you and just tell him where you're going, then I wouldn't have no, no I reason always tell him. him, Your Honor, when I come back. Well, I come, oh, I when you always come back. Tell him. Not when you're going. It's a difference in coming back and going. No, it's not. <laughs> so, Mr. Go Brown. On, coming back. Mr. Brown, I got to ask you an obvious question. If you haven't been able to trust this woman, you don't know if. Malachi is your child. Do you really want to be in this relationship or not? I love her to death. I, I, I mean, I love her more than any other girl I've ever been with. And I love that baby, like, from my heart. What are you feeling? I mean... <laughs> I mean, whether he's not or is the father, I feel like I still want to sign the birth certificate because he been there since day one, and, you know, he's the only man, like, I love, and, like, I don't want to be with nobody else but him. Like, Malachi, he's the only f face he's seen, but he ain't seen no other guy, and I don't know, like, I don't want to interfere with their relationship and their bond. Are you both ready to have the results now? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Jerome, the envelope, please. Thank you. Welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Parker versus Brown, pertaining to six-month-old Malachi Parker, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Brown, Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Brown, 
You are not Malachi's father. I'm sorry for you both. I know you wanted a different result. I'm gonna give you both a moment to compose yourselves and then I'm going to meet you in my chambers and I will give you the results of the lie detector test, okay? Okay. Court is adjourned. Mr. Brown, Ms. Parker, I have the results of the lie detector test here. Are you ready for them? Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. Okay. Ms. Parker, you were asked if during your relationship with Mr. Brown, have you had any type of sexual contact with another man? You said no. The lie detector determined that was the truth. So in fact, her testimony that she had never cheated on you during the relationship was in fact true. Ms. Parker, I have to ask you, do you know who baby Malachi's father is? Yes. It's important for Malachi to be able to at least know who his biological father is and he's entitled to support from that person. Yes. In the meantime, Mr. Brown, you've been very vocal about the fact that you want to be in the child's life and you love Ms. Parker. Is that true? Yes, Sean. Sure. Good. Then I think you two have to now come together and begin to talk about the issues that you have to deal with now, but figure out how to move forward knowing the truth. So I'm wishing you all the very best of luck, okay? Take care of that beautiful baby. <laughs>